Hey, Ben, uh, just wanted to get your thoughts on how much you're enjoying playing fullback the last couple of weeks. Oh, it's been fun. Um, something that I might not have envisioned going into this season, but it's been a lot of fun uh, doing something new and learning a new spot, learning uh, some run game schemes, stuff like that. So, um, you know, it's, it's been enjoyable. Can you take us back to when you first had the conversation with the coaches about playing fullback? What was your reaction? What were you thinking? Um, yeah, it was uh, with the Wednesday before Atlanta game and I came in and then Sean grabbed me. He's like, hey, come to my office. And um, I was like, <laughs> never really met with, with coach McVay one-on-one so uh, I didn't know what to expect and when the head coach tells you to come to his office um I don't know I was like uh, what did I do um but we kind of went over everything and I was excited went out to practice that day and uh you know went smooth and then it was something that we built on throughout that week and then you know obviously in the Falcons game uh we had some success with it so this past week uh, you know getting more reps at it and more more reps in practice more reps in the game just uh you know keep getting better and better at it uh each day and Ben, why do you think Sean, you know, approached you about that? What did he see in you? And was it a, an adjustment that first week? Uh, yeah, you know, probably just my physicality at receiver, um, you know, seeing that I, I can do that stuff. Uh, maybe not in that position as fullback, but um, throughout the end of last year um, and then, you know, throughout camp and stuff, um, you know, being able to play, you know, kind of in the slot alignments where we short motion down, um, just right outside the nine techniques and, and do some stuff with the ends, um, you know, take care of nickels, stuff like that. So um, that's probably what he saw on me and then my physicality and, you know, thought, hey, uh, let's try this. And, and, you know, it's worked out so far. And Ben, one more for me, uh, but you had a 66 receiving yards yesterday. So you're doing kind of a combination. They're doing both receiver and fullback. In a way, does playing fullback help you out to kind of escape and get some plays as a receiver? Uh, definitely, you know, um, you know, teams are, you know, have to respect, um, you know, the run game fits and stuff. And then, uh, you know, some play action off that's awesome. And then, you know, I'm still lining up at receiver, um, you know, running go ball, stuff like that. So, um, you know, just, just being a receiver as well and, and trying to make the most of my opportunities there. Thank you, Ben. Stu. Hey, Ben, from a technical standpoint, um, just what's the adjustment when you're used to doing mainly perimeter blocking and then going to, I guess, blocking more um, in gaps and things like that, or I guess just that fullback in general? Yeah, you know, um, there hasn't been a huge adjustment. Um, there's been some nuances here and there, but, you know, a lot of the stuff that, you know, the offensive coaches, um, you know, Coach McVay, Coach Yarber, um, asks us the receivers to do in the run game, uh, especially Cooper and I, um, throughout the end of last year, this year. Um, you know, it, it's pretty similar. There's, there's some stuff, obviously, that's different. Um, like the paths I, I have to take through the whole stuff like that, um, that I'm learning. And, and, you know, I was thinking a lot about it last week and now it's kind of starting to become that must, uh, excuse me, muscle memory for me, but like, you know, that, that type of stuff's new, but, um, you know, I, I've done a lot of blocking, uh, whether it's inserting for safeties, nickels, stuff like that, um, you know, throughout camp, throughout last year and stuff. So the adjustment hasn't been, you know, too, too crazy for me. And then do you, um, I don't know, study any fullbacks or, or any guys who are like H-backs or anything like that as you were, uh, you know, learning this position and some of those technical points? Yeah, you know, um, Coach McVay, uh, when we install stuff, you know, he, he shows other teams doing it. So um, that's really the only studying I've been doing of the fullback stuff. Um, you know, when I watch film, you know, you see it, but I'm not, you know, studying one person individually of, of how, how to do it. Um, it's a pretty gritty position. I don't know if it's like, hey, I can take technique from this guy. It's kind of like, hey, you know, man up and, and put your head in there and, and uh, you know, get the job done. So I, um, really it's just a, the install stuff, um, the clips from that, that that I study. Thank you. Yeah. Gary. Uh, hey Ben, uh, can you hear me? I'm actually doing this from a plane, sitting on a on a runway. I just want to make sure you can hear me. First of all, yeah, I can hear you. That's great. Wi-Fi, you got <laughs> you need to figure out, you know, how that works next time I fly. Well, there's there's a couple of uh, the beat writers that are traveling that aren't on this call, I think, because of flight delays. So uh, our apology, apologies, but thanks for doing this. All good. Um, I I know you had mentioned. I'm I'm just curious. You know, the Rams' emphasis on blocking from their receivers, um, how much that might have helped you with the transition to kind of the expanded role as a fullback? Yeah, you know, really it goes back to, um, you know, my fifth year at, at Notre Dame. Um, my receiver coach, Coach Dell Alexander, really preached blocking. Um, and, you know, I actually wrote it down in my notebook going into my senior season. I want to be the best blocking receiver in college football. 
Um, you know, you can't always control how many targets you get, you know, how many, how much stuff's drawn up for you. So, um, you know, I've always taken pride in it, but especially that fifth year of college for me, I was like, you know, it, it's time. Let's, you know, be physical, um, you know, really creating the run game. And then, you know, coming to an organization like the Rams is really a blessing in disguise um, and, and coming into an offense where they, it's 11 personnel and we use receivers, you know, to create um, running lanes for our running backs. So, um, yes, it's, it's been great to be in this offense. And, and, you know, we just have a lot of selfless guys. You look at what Cooper does, obviously, in the past game. Um, he's unbelievable, but you'll see him in the run game, digging guys out. You'll see Allen, um, you know, Van when he's healthy. You know, all of us really, you know, selfless. And, and you know, it takes all 11 to run the football uh, effectively. And, um, you know, that, that's what we strive to do. So, you know, there's a great emphasis throughout the week from Coach Yarber and, and just really straining and, and getting our jobs done. And then you've uh, played in several games now against the 49ers, which always seem to be very physical games uh, between the Rams and, and that and them. Well, um, what's your experience been playing against them? And, and what do you think you guys have to do to, to kind of win on the road uh, at Levi Stadium? Yeah, you know, obviously, uh, I'm, it's a team I'm, well, I guess not anymore after playing Arizona four times, but pretty familiar with uh, the 49ers. And, you know, I've, I've played, you know, a lot of offense um, in those games against them. So, you know, they're a tough outfit, um, obviously a well-coached team with, with very talented players, you know, at every single level of the defense. Um, so it really comes down to execution, uh, you know, just, just doing our stuff and, and focus on the fundamentals and, you know, we'll get into the game plan stuff this week, but, you know, it's just going to take a lot of ex execution, communication on the road, obviously is uh, really important with the crowd noise, but, um, you know, we looked at the film today, a lot of corrections, a lot of stuff to get better at, and, and we're just going to attack this week and, and, and go and execute um, on Monday night. Thanks very much. Yep. Gilbert. Hey, uh, Ben, I had a, another one uh, for you. Just wanted to get your point of view on the, the Cooper Cup rushing touchdown. It was, it was a pretty bang, bang play. Uh, what did you see? How did you guys execute that? Yeah, you know, it, it worked out pretty much how it worked out in practice. Um, you know, a fake one way and give it to Cooper going the other way. And, uh, you know, obviously he's talented with the ball in his hands. And, you know, it was a race to the end zone. So, um, you know, great play call and, and even better execution by Cooper.